My third time making macarons has been a success and here's how I did it. Before we start, ito yung mga macarons na ginawa ko before. So this one is from 2021. As you can see, sobrang epic feel talaga niya. And ito naman yung ginawa ko last October. Honestly, mukha talaga siyang burger. Anyway, for this one, I followed Rosanna Pansina's macaron recipe. Actually, the recipe itself, okay na okay siya. Masarap siya. At the same time, na-achieve ko yung texture and yung shape ng macarons. It's just that, hindi okay sa akin yung temperature niya and yung baking time. So, for our third attempt, if a follow pa rin natin yung recipe ni Rosanna Pansino. So, same ingredients, pero babaguhin lang natin yung oven temperature and baking time. So, instead of 325 degrees Fahrenheit, I will reduce it to 300 degrees Fahrenheit only. And instead of baking it for 13 minutes, I will be baking mine for 10 minutes only. And now, let's start baking. So, since same recipe lang naman tayo, I will still walk you through the instructions, pero hindi ko na siya i-explain in detail. Instead, ililink ko na lang yung previous macaron video ko on the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So, first up is need natin isif ang ating powdered sugar and almond flour. In preparation of making the meringue or beating our egg whites, pinupunasa ko lang yung bowl with a little bit of vinegar. Next, we will be beating our egg whites on medium speed until frothy for about 1 minute. Then, i-add natin slowly yung white sugar, then i-beat lang natin sila until we achieve stiff peaks. Then, add na natin yung salt and then yung strawberry extract. And lastly, your choice of food color. So, of course, I'm doing pink. Next is, i-mix na natin ang ating almond mixture to our egg white mixture. So, ito, i-share ko ulit for this video kasi gusto gusto ko talaga yung technique na to from the recipe. So, first is, mag-add mo na kayo ng one-third of the almond mixture sa inyong egg whites. Then, i-fold nyo siya for 20 times only. Then, nauulitin nyo lang siya hanggang sa may mix nyo na lahat ng almond mixture. So, again, one-third of the almond mixture to your egg whites. Mix for 20 times, then one-third or let mix for 20 times. So, in total, magkakaroon kayo ng 60 folds. Actually, napaka-helpful talaga nung part na yun ng recipe, yung pag-fold ng 20 times per one-third of the almond mixture. Kasi, alam naman natin na ang pinaka-mahelp na part or yung pinaka-crucial sa paggawa ng macarons is yung pag-mix mo ng inyong batter. After mixing, it's now time to pipe the macarons. So, gagamit lang ako ng silicone mat pang trays. Then, papatungan ko siya ng parchment paper. Actually, pwede din kayo mag-bake sa silicone mat. It's just that, iisa lang kasi yung ganyan ko. Kaya, parchment paper pa rin yung ginagamit ko. After piping, tatanggalin lang natin yung baking mat. Then, itatap natin yung ating baking tray sa counter to release the air bubbles. Then, we will let it rest for one hour. So, I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, but isa pa palang binago ko sa recipe ni Rosanna Pansino is yung resting time. So, instead of 13 minutes, ginawa ko siyang one hour. Kasi on the previous attempt, yung second attempt natin, may mga makalas ako doon na nag -rest for 1 hour and maganda yung kinalabasan niya. And now, it's time to start baking. Again, ibibake natin siya for 300 degrees Fahrenheit only for 10 minutes. Then, rotating the pan every 5 minutes. After 10 minutes, ito na yung ating macarons. As you can see, mas maganda na siya compared sa mga previous attempt natin. Um, yung color, it is lighter in person. So, medyo dark lang siya sa video and hindi na siya nag stick sa ating parchment paper. For the next batch, I noticed na medyo nag-brown siya tsaka nag stick siya sa parchment paper. So, ang ginawa ko is binawasan ko ulit yung oven temperature from 300 to 250 or 280 degrees Fahrenheit and perfect na ulit yung macarons natin. And ito na lahat ng macarons. So, honestly, hindi pa perfect lahat ng batches but at least majority of the macarons are already perfect and kitang-kita naman yung improvements natin from our last two attempts. So here, I'm just filling out my macarons with cream cheese icing. So yung recipe, ililink ko na lang din sa description box. 
at this point, natutuwa na talaga ako sa itsura ng macarons. Kasi mukha mo talaga siyang macarons. And perfect na siya compared sa mga previous macarons na ginawa natin. So again, the changes I made. So first is instead of resting it for 30 minutes, I rested mine for 1 hour. Binawasan ko din yung oven temperature from 325 degrees Fahrenheit to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Then later on, binawasan ko ulit siya to 250 to 280 degrees Fahrenheit. And instead of baking it for 30 minutes, I baked it for 10 minutes only. So here, gumagawa lang ako ng makaron tower because itong makaron sa ginawa ko today is actually for my birthday. And ito na yung final macarons natin. So, ang ganda-ganda niya talaga tignan. So, from 2021 to 2023 and now 2024. I am super proud of myself because finally nakagawa na ako ng macarons and considering that I am a self pot baker only. So, good job self. You deserve a pat on the back. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. So, don't forget to like comment, share, and subscribe, and see you on our next baking video. Bye, guys!